Hello, this is Victor Zaitsev from EnergyPerformanceHub.com, author of two books, Energy Performance Contract Handbook and Energy Audit and Done. Today is the session 3 uh, tutorial on uh, basically how to run energy performance contracts and today's particular session is all about the ways you can, you can do the project. You can do it in-house, uh, through the consultant, or you can select a partner as core energy services company. We will also today talk about the procurement. Uh, by procurement, I mean the using various ways you can basically procure the project. Let's get started. Um, the simplest, which might seem to some clients, the simplest way of doing the project, energy performance project, is doing it in house. Uh, thinking about it, uh, estate and facilities team know the estates and buildings and plant rooms very, very well. And they probably know it better than any other consultants. Um, what I would say beneficial in any case is to have a workshop, uh, internal workshop, getting all the technicians, engineers, uh, designers, consultants, facilities managers. Um, into the room for a couple of hours and just brains, brainstorm the ideas on uh, energy conservation measures in the building. I'm pretty sure you'll we'll come up with, you know, tens if not hundreds. And what, what I also suggest is, you know, uh, with, the, with the team basically, tour all your plant rooms, tour your corridors, and uh, look at the buildings outside and basically being in, in the space will you would bring some more ideas on how to save energy in the building. You put this sleep. The other source of energy conservation measures is I'm sure some of the organizations have some sort of reports done before like uh, air conditioning inspection has got recommendations for uh, air conditioning improvement. Uh, some organizations might have had carbon draft reports again have got lots of information available on how to improve maybe some even say maybe companies you know have got internal team BMF support engineers with some good awareness of energy um, all is required is just putting all this information together uh, running of such a project in house would, would be a tough thing uh, for many reasons but it's possible uh, first of all, you've got to have a strong project management skill and it's not like managing you know, some kind of other project. This would be a specific uh, construction refurbishment project on the existing facilities. Um, some, the team will have to have excellent expertise in, in delivering those projects, um, understanding, doing the design even validating the design if you're planning to get you know, some um uh, designers to assist you. Um, and, that, and, and the last thing probably, and uh, very often, uh, probably the reason why energy forms contracts are not done in houses is actually the amount of resource, time, money, energy is going to suck into the project is unbelievable. Right? Uh, you will have basically, you know, for three, four, five guys who just have to basically stop doing what they're doing and start doing the energy performance project full time, for a year, for one and a half, or even for two years, depending on the size. So I think it's the best option, but if you have got a strong team inside and are used to running a successful project in the past, please do, please do consider. The next option is to employ kind of um, energy performance contracts consultant or consultancy. Um, organizations like this would normally, you know, went through energy performance contracts in, in the past, and what they can do, they can just kind of um, assist you, consult you on the stages, and do some, you know, some great task, um, guide you through the process. Uh, you will have to pay for this, of course, but the disadvantage is yes, it might be cheaper to do the project, but I may say cheaper, cheaper upfront costs. Um, obviously, 
a consultant will never guarantee the, the energy savings um, and also you know there's lots of risks of consultancy company going uh, belly up and um, basically with no liability for any recommendations or design or anything like that uh, the decision is yours this way or all the risks the third approach which is commonly used is selecting a partner energy services company that's called um, and basically delivering allowing this company your partner uh, to deliver this project and uh, yes of course you will have to manage it and you will have to manage it part time maybe for a couple of couple of guys will have uh, to, to do it but still I mean the amount of work which will be of reward is unbelievable plus also of course more importantly the take the they guarantee the energy savings, uh, you know, they will do construction, design, and management, regulations, compliance, it's an unnecessary paperwork, and management in house. They will manage all these specialist subcontractors and do the rest. They will come up with energy savings and they will do the guarantee and meeting there and the rest of it. Um, so, three options on the table for you, you decide basically. The next uh, thing which we basically need to talk about, okay, so say you've made a decision uh, to do the project, okay, how are we going to buy this project, how are we going to procure, it's not like some standard m and project, you know, is let do some design, get some consultants, you know, do some tender docs, drawing specs, uh, free quotes, cheaper screens, blah, blah, blah. It's not as simple as that, but it's not difficult either. Um, there is two options here, effectively. One of the options you basically you use one of the frameworks, and it's a very popular, very popular option now on the market. The most popular, to my knowledge, is free frameworks now in, in the UK, for instance. Um, one of them is called uh, Accenture, which is London Procurement Partnership. Uh, they specialize in NHS uh, and they've done quite a few successful projects in the last couple of years. The next option um, could be um, Refit Program, Refit 2. It's, it's again, it's a very popular, it, it is designed for public organizations are very popular with councils according to uh, if it, um, it's a specialist it's about 70% of London authorities are now in the process of going through um, energy performance contracts it could be an early stages but they are basically in the process whether it is um, selecting or deciding to do it or very much I mean, it's just the uh, repeat to is, is not just in London, it's uh, uh, in England, uh, all over England, basically. Uh, Scotland uh, is kind of sitting separately so far, they're planning to select the government is planning to, to do their own framework work there. Uh, the third framework which is available, which is probably the oldest one, it's called Carbon and Energy Fund CEF. Um, there's about 12 uh, companies involved on the list now as a supplier, which kind of guarantee the energy savings. But the, uh, this this framework is mostly historically historically based around um, upgrading or replacing energy centers and possibly some small districts. System. When I say district heating, I mean, you know, if it's a hospital, university, they will have, uh, um, you know, different buildings, and I mean this local district heating, for a connection to, you know, some buildings are outside of this organization, although it's possible as well. But uh, this, this, this framework is shifting now as well, not just to the energy center um, yeah, models uh, where you know, various factors where you upgrade energy center and you know you can just uh, the company would perform on uh, basically selling you uh, energy 
in terms of heating and electricity. Normally those things involve CHPs. Big CHPs were companies generate electricity in the USA. Uh, lots of carbon and save cash. Um, so those are three frameworks and uh, basically you can use the other option is just basically to to buy the project uh, yourself. I mean in Europe you might need to go through old shoe uh, and um, you know there's you can get hold of the contract if you you know if you go through the tender yourselves uh, you can select the partner by any kind of tender submission documents which we will look later uh, into um, and you can select uh, your partner yourself without any frameworks um, and then ESCO can you know, advise you on the contracts that you've used in the past uh, you can modify them, your lawyers can include um, aspects of separate contracts and normally it's like a um, combination of a uh, couple of contracts where kind of there is one overarching contract uh, starting from investment grade to audit uh, through implementation to guarantee phase and there is that kind of separate subcontracts uh, under each of the stages so at any stage basically the company the company can pull out from the process which is kind of just a safe measure. Um, let's see, in terms of the uh, frameworks, just bear this in mind, frameworks are basically what they are simply administrators. All they are doing is helping you to procure the project. All they would do, they would help you a hell of a lot, you know, uh, they've been in business, they would uh, do the PQQ, pretend and the qualification question as um, they will probably seek with you before that, just establishing the criteria, getting you know client scope from you. What are you looking for? How much energy savings? What are your aspirations? You know, you would provide information. They they would basically um, guide you through the process, and I would like administ like administrator, which you will be they will be submitting documents for a certain portal, and you will be basically the company's building, they will be uploading the documents, they will be reading um, RFIs, request for information, and they will be basically just, you know, like a middleman running this process, but the good thing about it, it, it really does accelerate the process of going from the decision of going into energy funds contract to actually starting the best faith in that in place where they really do work and how, oh, but of course you will have to pay the fee uh, uh, for them administering the, the, the procurement part of the project. Uh, another thing, they are not supposed to be advising you on the selection. They're supposed to be independent and always supposed to be facilitating the procurement. So if you need independent advice, you might need to select a separate consultant or, or contact the organizations which have done the performance contracts in the past. Uh, that's it, end of the tutorial number three, and uh, we'll speak to you soon in the next one. Thank you, bye.